Hi everyone, it's Karchi. For today's Polly Pocket Showcase, I'm going to be showing the brand new Polly Pockets. That's right, 2021 has been a great year so far with Polly Pockets. They released another new set. These have a butterfly, an elephant, a gumball machine, and dolphins. These are a continuation of their Big Pocket World line, and as you can see, they are absolutely adorable. Unlike the other set that they released earlier this year, these are more easily attainable, so these are currently on Amazon. And I didn't have to wait too long for these, which is awesome because whenever there's a new Polly Pocket, I am so impatient, I just want it right away. So without further ado, let's get started with a showcase. We are going to start with this one. So this is the Gumball one, and this one has a very unique exterior, which is why I wanted to start with this first. This is officially called Candy Cutie. There is so much going on here. We have lots of details and lots of extra pieces. First, let's talk about the packaging. The packaging looks pretty similar to the other ones, but on the back, we also see the compact. That is really cool, and I don't think they've done that before. Look at the confetti. So cute. Here is everything we get. This is the compact opened, and this is a shout out to the other three compacts. All right, let's unbox it. This is so adorable. It is so much better outside of the box. So beautiful. I love how they've kept that cute sleepy expression that's in all of the big pocket worlds. And it is indeed a gumball machine that is very obvious in the design. I think they were very successful with that. So here we can see the little gumballs which move around when you shake this. And here is the contraption where you can twist it and all the gumballs come out. On the back, we have the Polly Pocket logo and some candy etchings all around here. The back also has some sort of silverish finish to the plastic. The year on the back says 2020, but these were just released, so 2020 is the manufacturing date. And we have this plastic strap right here, which I've never really been a fan of, so I'm just gonna remove it. Now let's take a look inside. I can't wait to see all the details. This is so vibrant and colorful. I love it. This reminds me of the Hello Kitty and Friends compact, the one that's a candy theme park. This pretty much follows the same concept. Actually, literally the same concept. And I believe both of them were made by Mattel, so great. First, we are going to start on the bottom. We have this beautiful platform here that spins around. Whoa, I'm getting dizzy. Are you being hypnotized yet? And the little teacups that come with this compact go on these pegs. All around here we have some assorted chocolates. This is making me hungry. I love assorted chocolates. And I'm not sure what these are, but let's just assume they're pastries. Here we have what looks to be meringues. I also really love meringues. Let's face it, I love all kinds of sweets. And over here we have a love seat, and it has two little hearts on it. Then we have this marshmallow seesaw. There's also a candy decor right up front. And I actually love the graphics on the floor. It's very vibrant and fun. It also looks well designed. Over here we have what looks to be jelly beans in the shape of hearts. And it has little words like yay, omg, lol. That one there says Polly. And here we have some sprinkles and this is supposed to be icing. And back here we have a big rainbow. And there's more candy back there. Then on the second level, we get a gingerbread house. Down here, we have more candy patterns. So we've got lollipops, candy canes, peppermint, chocolate back there, and icing over here. This house is so cute. I love the lavender and white combination. More lollipops and candy canes here. This is probably licorice. I love how girly this looks. And on top here, we have two little seats where the characters can sit and just look out over this candy kingdom. There's also a cart back there full of pastries. I'm guessing they're royalty and everyone just brings them a bunch of candy. What a great life. There's also a beautiful graphic of a lollipop back there, which looks really, really cute actually. And of course, on the roof, we have this frosted icing. The chimney is made of wafers. There's a beautiful pattern on the roof too. It reminds me of the recent cake that Christine McConnell made. And if you've never heard of her, I suggest you Google her and go on her Instagram because 
you will be blown away by the awesome things that she makes. Now to open the house. Here is the kitchen where we make all of our sweets. We have a mixer. We also have a cake already made back there. And through the window, we can barely see it, but we have a mountain of ice cream. This is a very clean kitchen, which is unrealistic, especially if you love to bake. Maybe they're just really good at cleaning up after themselves. Then on this platform, we have more candy etchings. Again, it would have been nice if they colored all of it, but that's also more crafting stuff for me to do if I decide to repaint this. Here is Polly. She has pigtails on and this big billowy dress. We can remove this to reveal her legs and she has the new bend. Here it is, she bends just like the vintage Polly Pocket dolls. And I've mentioned before how much I love the dresses and skirts that come with these new characters. They fit very well and they look really good. And here is the second character. Again, I don't know their names. I have yet to watch the show and I probably never will because honestly, I don't know how interested it will keep me. But I absolutely love her. Her pink hair is everything. And I love the variety and complexions that they are giving these characters. And she's also got a gumball on her shirt. Then we have this lavender gingerbread man. I think he's maybe ube flavored. And we have this llama or dog looking thing. And he's also made of gingerbread. Here are some candy pieces. There's candy canes, a lollipop, and a peppermint. We also have this cute tea set, which reminds me of Alice in Wonderland. Pretty much anything tea related reminds me of Alice in Wonderland. And we have this two-tiered cake. We also get this buffet table over here. This kind of looks like the table where a bride and groom would sit at a reception. It's got cutlery and napkins, and there's also a peg on top. It only makes sense for the cake to go right here. That is super fancy. We can also put the tea set on this table. So the idea is you can switch them around so you have variety. Then we have these two teacup rides for that spinny thing that we saw earlier. Teacup rides are super popular in these compacts. I think this is the third or fourth teacup ride that I've seen. We also have some kitchen appliances. Here is a fridge and on the door we have some notes, maybe recipes, magnets, and we can open this up to reveal all the food inside. This needs a repaint. Yes, it does. And here is just a regular stove, nothing fancy. And here we have our oven. I'm gonna go ahead and assemble this. I'm gonna put one here and the other one here. There we go, that is so cute. And I think this should go right in the middle because it's the fancy table. And the appliances go over here, that's a no-brainer. And the stove can go here. And there's little pegs here for the candy. I'm just gonna stick this here and this one here. I don't know where to put everything else, so I'm just gonna start sticking them wherever. I think it makes sense for the tea set to go here. And I'm just gonna stick the lollipop on the ground because it doesn't really have anywhere else to go. And the gingerbread man can go here and his little dog. And yes, the characters also have those little holes on their feet because this is how they stand in the compact. So anywhere that there's pegs, you can just put them right on it. It's the same concept as the vintage ones, but it's kind of opposite where we have something sticking out. And in the vintage ones, we have a hole that's going in. You guys, Mattel has really listened. I don't know if they do watch my videos and I really don't think I have that much power, but I did mention in my video that it would be nice if the characters had something to stand on because they did get rid of the poly stick and this is such a cool idea. This is very awesome. I also like how they didn't straight up copy the vintage ones because they really wanna push the modern style and they did a really good job. I like it. I like how easy it is to just pop the characters in. So there's Polly and here is Miss Unknown. There we go, that looks so cute. Here is the top with the gingerbread man and his dog. Nothing is falling out, everything is in place. I love this. I really love this. I think that was a very genius idea. By the way, they are calling this functionality pop and swap. That's really catchy, I'll admit. And of course, they still have the flexibility to stand on their own like this. I also love how we can decorate the compact with these little candies that we can stick onto the walls. It's a great way to add extra interaction and extra details.
Next, we have the butterfly. This is called Backyard Butterfly. Again, jam-packed with details. I'm very excited to go through all of them. Lots of pieces again. And we get a puppy. Oh my gosh, he is so cute. And on the back, we can see the compact. It has the same confetti idea as the gumball machine. Here are all the pieces. This is what it looks like when it's opened. And the box is already torn because Amazon doesn't care about quality control anymore. I'm gonna rip the box anyway, but I would like it to be my control. I love this so much. Pink and purple are my favorite colors and it has shiny confetti inside. What more could a girl ask for? This is one of the most beautiful exteriors I've ever seen in the new Polly Pockets. On the back, we have a continuation of that butterfly pattern and we have the logo right in the middle. This is so full of details. I am impressed. As far as new Polly Pockets go, I don't think I've seen one yet with this many details. They even colored some of the flowers. And the top here, it's such a beautiful scenery. It's so relaxing. It's a beautiful spring day. This, of course, is Polly's backyard based on the name of the compact, Backyard Butterfly. And she has a gigantic pool. Polly is pretty much like Barbie. She has it all. She does it all. This pool has the Polly Pocket heart right in the middle. We also have a diving board, or is this some kind of surfboard? I'm not sure. Or maybe it's just a seesaw into the pool, though. It's kind of weird. I love the tiling all around the pool. Very nice. And we have a ladder because this isn't The Sims, where we delete the ladder and watch The Sims drown. We have tons of beautiful shrubs and flowers all around here. I do love how they colored it, even though it's only some of them. Then we have a deck here where we can put the other accessories. And we have a nice graphic of flowers, grass, rocks. We even get a little towel so we can relax after we swim. Then up here is my favorite part because this just looks so beautiful. This reminds me of the show Little Bear, which I recently binge watched. Beautiful texture on the grass and flowers. The trees are so beautiful. They have lots of details. We can see the individual leaves. There's some flowers here too. This one as well, we even see some butterflies. There's a zip line going from the tree house to the tree over here, so we can put the character on this butterfly and zip line all the way down. In the background, we can also see Polly's house. At least I think that's her house. And we see some butterflies flying around here. There's a beautiful sun, there's a bird. I love this white picket fence. It is very classic. More flower graphics, more butterflies. This ladder is so cute. It's made of vines. And here is the tree house. Again, the pink and purple just works so well together. I love the heart doorknobs. And this has a very fun, playful design. We have some banners here. There's a little bird here and more flowers. And we can open it up. And inside looks so cozy. We have a little library. This must be where Polly goes to read a good book. Get away from all the stress. There's also a little teddy bear. Little bear, like I said. There's also another teddy bear right there. And down here she has a rug where she can sit. Here's a book she's reading. And here is yet another teddy bear. And more flowers. This manufacturing number kind of ruins it for me. I wish there was a way they could have hidden that because... Yuck. And here is Polly. She's got her hair down this time. She has a yellow skirt, which is one of those silicone attachments. And she has a butterfly on her shirt. She's also got the most mischievous expression on her face. And here, I believe, is Polly's mom. So when I first saw her, I thought for a second that they were making the characters bigger. But she is just Polly's mom, so of course she has to be bigger and taller. They also gave her a figure, if you know what I mean if you look closely. It's actually really cute. It's a nice variation and it looks more realistic having older characters who are actually bigger and taller. And she is giving me Barbie vibes. I mean, look at her with her blonde hair, her pink shirt. She is Barbie. And look at her little dog. I think this one is a wiener dog. Oh my goodness. I love him. Look at him. Look at his face. Look at his mouth. Oh, so cute. 
and the dog gets a dog house. This looks like Snoopy's house except purple, although you should definitely let your dogs live inside the house. So I hope this is just a little playhouse for the dog and not his actual home. We have some playground equipment, which we've seen before in other compacts. We have a swing and we have a slide. We also get this floaty, which looks like a swan. We have a grill where we can cook some meats and you can flip this over to reveal the food. And here is our picnic table where we can enjoy the food. There's already some food there. I think I see some pizza. We also get a bed of flowers and a watering can. And we get these decorative pieces to attach to the compact. Here we have some roses, a daisy, and a butterfly. So I was hoping to fit all the pieces in the compact like I did for the gumball one, but unfortunately the playground pieces do not fit. There is not enough space, not enough pegs. This does have a lot of extra pegs like this on the side here for these little decorative pieces. So it's a bit backwards. I feel like there should have been more pegs for the playground equipment, for the characters. So I'll just have to switch them out, I guess. Now we are doing the elephant. I love this already because we get lots of animal friends and this elephant is so large and beautiful. This is called Elephant Adventure. Here is the back. We can see the compact. I just love it. I love that they chose to show the compact this way. Here are all the accessories and this is the compact when it's open. Another cute one. I love her so much. She looks so gentle and peaceful. This is also special because this heart is a squishy. That is so cute and it's very satisfying. It's like a stress relief thing. I do feel like over time it's gonna get wrinkly and maybe even tear. I've only squished it a few times and I can already see it start to wrinkle and crack in the middle ever so slightly if you look close but Overall, it's cute and I'm gonna leave it alone for now because it's actually very addicting to squish. On the back, we see a continuation of her face. She also has some heart patterns over here. And of course, the Polly Pocket logo. This looks like a fun jungle or safari. So on the bottom, we see different biomes. Here we have an icy biome. We see some snowflakes here. There's a beautiful slide. Lots of icy elements. We also see paw prints over here leading to this cave. Then we have a grassland. There's a grassy platform here that spins and underneath we just see some grass and leaves. We also see some hay over here and this is some kind of sandy landscape. This looks like a lagoon or ocean. We also see some fishies and we have a beautiful waterfall. There's a little lizard right there. This water is so pretty and shiny. I love how it looks like resin. And up here we see what looks to be a tropical rainforest. Down here we see a mommy panda and a baby panda. And in the background they have bamboo, which is their food. Then we see a toucan, a sloth, a parrot, and of course the giraffe. And we have a little purple monkey that swings. There's also a teeny tiny frog right there. Again, we have a beautiful tree with lots of details. We can see the wood textures and I even love this little hole where an animal can possibly live. We also get another tree house. We can climb this beautiful wooden ladder and get to the tree house deck. And the front of this tree house has more animal friends. There's another bird, there's a chameleon, and we have some nice plants here. We also have a paw print on the roof. And on the inside, we have what looks to be a research facility. We can see some aquariums. There's some dragonflies and butterflies here. There's also an anatomy chart, and I believe this is a lion. And down here, we get more beautiful plants and flowers. There's another frog. 
and bananas. They have definitely improved the graphics on all of these designs. They look really crisp, very well printed, and very well designed, so props to their designers. Here is Polly. She's got two buns on her head. She has a lavender skirt, which is the silicone attachment, and she has a panda on her shirt inside a heart. Her arm is also bent in a waving position. I don't think we've seen this before. They're usually straight like this. And I believe this is Gwen, but I'm not sure. She's got short periwinkle hair and a lime green shirt with flowers on it. Now the real stars of this compact, which are all the animal friends. First, we have this beautiful elephant. She is gorgeous. She's the same elephant that we see on the front of the compact, and she's got some weight to her, and I like that because she feels like a real figurine. She is also a very good hefty size, and I love that a lot. Next, we have a polar bear, which looks like one of the bears in We Bear Bears. I have yet to watch that show, but I hear it's very good. And we have a cute little penguin, which looks like the penguin from Happy Feet. He is waving. Hello, penguin. And here is the cutest baby hippo. Oh my goodness. I have never seen a hippo like this before. She is so cute. She's sitting down and I actually thought she was a teddy bear. I love her. I think she's my favorite. Then we have Miss Flamingo. Just your common flamingo standing on one leg. We also have a gecko and we can see that by their signature sticky feet. We have a little tiny purple fish and we have what looks to be a toucan and he is perched on a branch. We also get some animal food and here is some food I believe for the elephant because the elephant is the main star of this compact. What do elephants even eat? What is this? This looks like peanut butter. Then we have a banana which we can assume is for the monkey that's swinging. And we have this tire swing, which again is for the elephant. This reminds me of Zoo Tycoon, where I would buy a tire swing for my elephants to play with. And I believe the characters can also fit in there and they can just swing around. And lastly, we have a camera because Polly and her friend are doing research on these animals. They might also be award-winning National Geographic photographers, or maybe they're just taking photos for their Instagram. Again, not everything fits on the pegs. I wasn't able to add the tire swing, but just like the other one, I can just switch them around. The animals actually look very cute in their habitats. Look at the baby. I love her. I'm gonna name her Violet, even though she's pink. Here are the other animals and they are adorable. And last but not least, we have the dolphins. I already love the characters. Look at them. This one is called Dolphin Beach. And again, on the back, we see the design. Here are all the accessories. And here is the open compact. How fun and summery is this? It's a mommy dolphin and a baby dolphin. The baby is also a squishy. I'm not gonna press too much like the other one because I don't wanna wrinkle it, but it's the same texture. It's very soft, it bounces back very quickly. Overall, this is a pretty good quality squishy. We also have a little seashell here, bubbles all around here. There's even heart-shaped bubbles and a starfish. I wonder why they didn't color the starfish, but they colored the seashell. On the back, we have more seashells, bubbles, another starfish, and we have a wave. Not as much detail as the other ones, but it is very cute. It's definitely got beach and summer vibes, which I love because summer is just around the corner. Down here, we have the actual beach. We see some sand in the graphics over here, some seashells and starfish. We also have our flip-flops. 
And here is the beautiful ocean. We have this big wave up here that we can surf. I love how this looks. It's very interesting. It looks like a nice sculpture. Then we have this platform that spins. This is probably a whirlpool. Those are very dangerous, but you know, it's the ocean. It's unpredictable. And here we have some rocky areas where animals can hide. And here is the pier where we can walk around, watch the sunset. I love the texture on this. Then up here, it looks like we have a little beach shack. We also have a lighthouse. And here we can see the same beach elements. We have seashells, rocks, starfish, seaweed. This shack is made of wood. We can see the nice wood texture there. We also have an anchor and one of those lifesavers. A shell up here, which is the handle. And this beautiful tile roof. And inside the shack, we see all kinds of beach equipment. We have our surfboards, beach ball, floaties, a pail so we can make sandcastles, and we have a variety of swimwear. More accessories down here. We have paddles, another lifesaver, another beach ball, and flip-flops. And here is the lighthouse, and inside we can see the spiral staircase. It leads all the way to the top. I love this railing. It's very beautiful. And right in there, we can see the light. I love how the roof has a heart on it. It's very Polly Pocket. And in the background, we have a beautiful beach scenery. Here is the big bright sun. We have a couple seagulls, a palm tree, and a dolphin. There's also a sailboat way back there. Here is Polly, and she has the cutest beach outfit. Her silicone skirt attachment is one of those wraps that you wrap around your waist. I think it looks really, really cute. She's also got heart sunglasses. And I'm not sure if this is Shawnee with pink hair, but she's a mermaid. This is way better than the silicone mermaid tail that attaches to the old characters. I love that she also has a hinge. She is absolutely gorgeous, and the only thing that will make her better is if her tail had some sort of glitter or shiny elements to it. But otherwise, I love her. She's one of my favorites. Then we have Miss Dolphin, the star of the show. She is very, very cute, and I love that I have a dolphin character because in the vintage mermaid adventure storybook, I am actually missing a dolphin. So maybe I can put her in there and she can kind of travel from compact to compact. Then we have a sea turtle. I love this so much. And she's got a heart on her shell. Then we have a crab. Look at her. She is so silly. I'm sorry, Miss Crab, but I'm gonna eat you because crab is one of my favorite foods. Then we have a starfish. This one looks like Patrick Star, but without the face and the shorts. We get a giant clam. This one opens up to reveal a pearl, even though pearls are from oysters, not clams. And we have a sandcastle. This one is so cute. It's got a little seashell on the front. Then we have a chest full of treasures. And there is all the treasure. It's just a bunch of coins. It definitely could use a repaint to make it more shiny, golden. Then we have a sailboat. I love how we see the Polly Pocket logo heart pretty much everywhere on all of these compacts. Then we get a surfboard, and this one has cute patterns right over here. We also get a floaty, and I think this one is a flamingo. Maybe another swan, but it's pink, so it's gotta be a flamingo, right? And we get a beach chair so we can relax, get a nice tan. And lastly, we get a picnic table, the same one in the butterfly compact, but this time it's pink. Obviously, some of these don't belong where I put them, such as this sailboat, which is somehow on land, but there are way too many sea items and very little sea pegs. We are having crab for lunch. So that was the latest Polly Pockets that just came out. Again, they are available on Amazon, so get them before the eBay scalpers take them. I think they are absolutely worth it. 
Of course, I will always have a bias for the vintage ones, just because it was the 90s, I'm a 90s kid, but Mattel really does listen to feedback and again, I don't know if they watch my videos, but coincidentally, they have applied pretty much every feedback I've given so far in my videos. One being the hinge, the other being applying a lot more details to the compacts, and of course having places for the characters to stand. I also love how the exterior of these continues to improve over time, not just with the design but with actual functionality. And this one is just so cute, I love the little confetti inside, I love the squishies, and I really do love the pegs. I love how you can decorate it. I just wish that there were more pegs and more places for all the accessories to fit in the compact. I also love all of the accessories and characters and animals that come with each of these. This is a lot. There definitely is a lot more to do with these compacts since you can switch the decorations around. I mean, this alone will give me hours of entertainment just because I'm mesmerized by this. So if I had to rate these, I would give them a 9 out of 10. These have come such a long way since the reboot. I am so proud of Mattel and I'm very happy with these. They're just so gorgeous. And I absolutely can't wait for more. I'm just gonna shake this one more time before I wrap up here.